ستارت ليت اس سي اباوت هايبوكسيا وات داز هايبوكسيا مين ان جنرال لاك اوف اوكسجين بات وير اني وير ان اتموسفيريك اير ان فلويد ان بلاد ان تيشوس اني وير ايفن ان سي ان ووتر وير از فيش ليفينج فيش اف ذي ار نو نو اوكسجين ذي ويل داي بيكوز ذي بريثينج ويز ليكويد اوكسجين يس So oxygen very important or very important, very important. Yes, very too important. <coughs> Let us speak about hypoxia, which according to our body, to uh, to human bodies, hypoxia. Uh, as I said, this is a pathological process characterized by uh, lack of oxygen. Uh, types of hypoxia. Hypoxia could be exogenous and endogenous. Yes? Exogenous hypoxia due to lack of oxygen in atmospheric air, environmental air. But there is two types. Low of oxygen atmospheric air in the level of C, it means like this, but in enclosed areas, closed, uh, for example, rooms, non-ventilated rooms. In this case, what we will find in blood, in blood analysis, we will find low oxygen, high CO2, and respiratory acidosis. Repeat again. In closed uh, places, high CO2, low oxygen, and respiratory acidosis. Other type of exogenous hypoxia is in mountains. There is less O2 and less CO2. That's why we are, what we will find in blood. We will find low oxygen and low CO2, then respiratory alkalosis. This is exogenous hypoxia. About endogenous hypoxia. To understand endogenous hypoxia, we have to remember which systems has relation with oxygen. Now, let us think, please. Yes. First system which has relation with oxygen is the respiratory system. Why? Because by helping of respiratory system, we inhale, enter the oxygen from outside to inside, so respiratory. Then, cardiovascular system, it's uh, for transport, yes? For transport, for delivery of oxygen to our tissues. Then, next system is blood system. Why? Because we have red blood cells, inside them hemoglobin, which connected with oxygen, <coughs> oxyhemoglobin. Next system. Next system is tissue system. What is tissue system? Which use oxygen, uh, utilize oxygen. Repeat again, which system has relation with oxygen? Okay, respiratory, cardiovascular, blood, and tissue. Thank you very much. Hypoxia, then endogenous hypoxia could be respiratory, Cardiovascular, cardiovascular, we call it circulatory. Next, blood, blood, we call it hemic. And last one, tissue, hypoxia. And mixed hypoxia, could be mixed hypoxia. We will give some examples. Thank you very much. Respiratory hypoxia. Look, before speaking about these types, let us uh, see what about. The scientists give some uh, analysis to, un to recognize oxygen problem in our body. We can see this analysis in, in, uh, in unit care, in intensive unit care in hospitals. Partial pressure of O2, 800 millimeter Hg. Saturation of O2, 95-98. This is saturation, understood? The next. Oxygen capacity. What does oxygen capacity mean? What does oxygen mean? Oxygen capacity means how many, how much gram of hemoglobin can be connected with how much milliliter of oxygen. Repeat again. How much gram of hemoglobin can be connected with how much milliliter of oxygen? 20 in arterial blood. 20 uh, volume percentage means in every 100 milliliter we connect 20 milliliter of hemoglobin uh, milliliter of hemoglobin with uh, milliliter of oxygen with hemoglobin and in venous 15 volume percentage finally 
arteriovenous difference, what does it mean? It means that by artery we carry 20 to tissue and tissue take 5 and leave 15. It means that arteriovenous difference normally 5. 5. This is all indicators for oxygen balance in our body. Understood? Yes. Now look please, you have to understand one very important thing. What? Uh, these indicators, they are dependent on something. For example, partial pressure O2, it's dependent on partial pressure atmospheric. I repeat again. Partial pressure O2, it's dependent on atmospheric uh, pressure and, uh, at all. Next, saturation of oxygen is dependent on is depend on partial pressure of oxygen. It means primary relation. More pressure of oxygen, more saturation of oxygen. Understood? Next, uh, oxygen capacity. Primary, it's depend of hemoglobin count. Understood? If hemoglobin count become less, means capacity become less. Because I said, who remember uh, oxygen capacity, what is it? Milligram of or gram of hemoglobin with milliliter of oxygen. Very nice. Arteriovenous difference is depend on uh, circulation. Circulation means delivery and tissue. Tissue understood. How much tissue will take? How much uh, the, uh, and so on. Understood. Repeat again. Partial pressure of oxygen depend on atmospheric pressure. Saturation depends on partial pressure of oxygen. Capacity depends of count of hemoglobin. Arteriovenous difference uh, depends on circulation and tissue. Halas finally. Let us now speak about uh, respiratory hypoxia. Respiratory hypoxia. We know that there are three functions in lung, in, in respiratory system. Uh, there is uh, three, three functions of respiratory system. Uh, ventilation, diffusion, and perfusion. If one or multiple of these functions will be disordered, then we will have respiratory hypoxia. How recognize respiratory hypoxia in, in these analyses? Which uh, indicators will be changed? Which indicators will be changed? How do you think if respiratory, uh, we have a respiratory problem if we will have respiratory problem. So the amount of oxygen entering to our respiratory system will be less, yes? yes? Then the pressure of this oxygen will be less. Then partial pressure on oxygen will be less in our body. Understood? Saturation, it's depend on partial pressure. Then, then it will be less, less, less. Oxygen capacity will not change it because we have no hemoglobin problem. Understood? Arteriovenous difference will not change it because we have no circulation problem and no tissue problem. We have respiratory, just. Next type of hypoxia. Circulatory hypoxia means problem in heart or in vessels. It could be general, means general, means shock, collapse, low blood pressure, means that all tissue will be suffer from hypoxia or local. For example, thrombosis, spasm of artery. Understood? How these indicators will be changed? Partial pressure of O2. It's not changed. Not changed because no problem in atmospheric and no problem in uh, respiration. Next, saturation. Not changed. Oxygen capacity. Not changed because hemoglobin count normal. Artery venous difference. It will be changed. What will happen with deaths? The oxygen cannot reach to tissue. Oxygen cannot reach to tissue. So multiple oxygen will be accumulated in arterial part. In venous part will be very less. Then the difference will be very more. For example, 20 and here 7, for example. What is the difference? 13. And what is normal difference? 5. So the difference will be increased. In circulatory hypoxia, arteriovenous difference will be increased. Understood? Next type of hypoxia. 
blood or hemic hypoxia. Hemic hypoxia, what does it mean? Problem in blood. We have problem with erythrocytes or hemoglobin or both. For example, anemia. Anemias. Hemoglobin de uh, uh, deactivated, disactivated. For example, met hemoglobin. He is connected with metal. Carbo carboxyhemoglobin. He is connected with CO, CO. For example, he cannot be connected with with uh, with O2. So, which first indicator will be changed? Oxygen. Capacity. It will be decreased. Then, sure, if it decreased, if it decreased, so saturation of oxygen will be decreased because hemoglobin less. Hemoglobin less. So saturation also less. And while saturation less, so pressure will be less. So in hemic hypoxia, all indicators will be less, except arteriovenous difference will not be changed. Last type of hypoxia is tissue hypoxia. Tissue hypoxia, the problem where? In tissue. So we have no problem in respiration, no problem in circulation, no problem in blood. The problem in tissue, we have inactivated uh, mitochondria, for example, low vitamin B1, no vitamin PP, no uh, thyroid hormones for metabolism. Understood? Uh, mitochondrial damage, cell damage, what will happen? These all will be not changed, just arteriovenous difference will be changed. How? We carry 20, but so sorry, tissue cannot use oxygen cannot use oxygen. It will take, for example, just two and leave 18, for example. What is the difference? Two. So the difference will be decreased in tissue hypoxia. Is it clear, I hope, or not? This is how we can recognize types of hypoxia by oxygen balance. Mixed type of hypoxia, when we have some damage, and this damage lead to mixed type two types for example bleeding bleeding which two types of hypoxia we have in bleeding we have circulatory hypoxia because vessel damage yes and hemic hypoxia because we lost blood understood in case of fire and we inspire uh, co co uh, deactivated hemoglobin so hemic hypoxia and deactivate mitochondria this tissue hypoxia in iron deficiency anemia, we have mixed type of hypoxia. Which, which types? Hemic and tissue because iron is in mitochondria and we need for metabolism. This mixed type of hypoxia. Now you will ask me one question. And how our organism deal with hypoxia? Imagine we have hypoxia. What we have to do? Yes, we have compensatory mechanisms. Good question. We have compensatory mechanisms. Urgent urgent and stayed for a long time. Urgent is tachycardia, tachypnea. Uh, the storage blood will be get out from spleen, for example. Understood? This is, this is urgent mechanisms. And what is stayed mechanisms? Stayed mechanisms, hyperplasia, hypertrophy of cells which has relation with oxygen. Which cells have a relation with that? For example, alveoli will be hyperplasia, multiple. Uh, uh, red blood cells will be more erythrocytosis, we call it, more. Then even mitochondria will be hyperplasia. In, 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 in cell, we will have multiple mitochondria, hyperplasia, can you imagine? Even muscle respiratory will be hypertrophy. So people who are living in mountains, they are more adaptive for hypoxia than we understood and finally how hypoxia can affect or affect our body how it can affect our body sure all our functions will be decreased because we no energy yes and we will lose weight why we will lose weight we need energy what we have to do we will break down sugar then break down fat uh, glycolysis lipolysis yes but if it will be multiple, so it will lead to an, it will, if the hypoxia will be continuous, it's bad. It will lead to what? Necrosis, atrophy of tissues. 
understood. This is what I wanted to say about Haibuk, it's very short. Thank you very much.